Hi, Paul Wakefield here, and I just wanted to go through step two of getting started. Now, this is, um, to me, it's probably one of the, the most important things. Um, it's, you know, obviously your way of communicating, your way of speaking to people, um, but also with Google, uh, it's more than just a search engine and more than uh, just an email um I don't know, tool I suppose. Um, but look, what we're going to go through now is uh, how to set up a Google email address or a Gmail account. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm on Google homepage, uh, which is just www.google.co.uk, and I'm just going to run through the very basics, a very short video of setting yourself up with a Gmail account. Okay. So you'll see at the top browser you've got images, videos, maps, etc. Various different um, various different tabs or options in in the uh, in the in the toolbar. So we need to go into Gmail here. Simply click on Gmail, and it will come up with the options here. Um, you'll see where it says create an account. Simply click on the big button that says create an account then comes up obviously with the, the following details um, and it's very very self-explanatory here so um, I'm not going to actually create an account here because I've got so many Gmail accounts as it is um, but I just obviously run for exactly what's what so speaks for itself uh, first name would be your first name last name Wakefield please remember to put yours it um, amazes me how many people uh, just copy this? It needs to be your name, okay? So desired login name. This is where you want to search for your email, okay, and what you want to use. So are you going to be using your name? Um, are you going to be using a business name? Um, you need to check in here. So I already know that Paul Wakefield at gmail.com is taken, um, and I've got various other email accounts as well. Um, so just to sort of show you, if you were to enter details and, and it's already gone, um, I'll show you exactly what it comes up with. So if I just do Paul Wakefield and then do check availability, you can see there Paul Wakefield is not available. Here are some suggestions. So it's given me various different suggestions here. Um, now personally, I wouldn't actually use any of these uh, for, my, for my business. Um, because there, like I say, you can see, you know, it's got different numbers, etc. So you want to do a search for something that's pretty straightforward, just Paul Wakefield or, you know, maybe Paul hyphen Wakefield or something like that. Um, although I see the bottom one here is actually Paul Wakefield 31, which is the number of the house that I grew up in. So I might actually grab that. But look, you know, you might be able to do, if you used to do Paul hyphen uh, Wakefield, see no hyphens so you know it soon tells you what you can and can't do uh, you can see there Paul, Paul Wakefield membership is obviously an email that I've got so let's just do this process as I've seen that email so it's got the Paul Wakefield 31 check availability where well, we know that's already available and it's come up there is available okay um, now again got I'm just securing that uh, that Gmail account as I said for business please try and get an email without a number or something in there okay remember you're going to be using this email for pretty much everything for your business so you know if you're going to start sending people emails with a number personally I don't think that's that's very professional um, so <clears throat> like I say we've secured that Paul Wakefield 31 as I'm doing this now I'm going to carry on with the process so choose a password I will enter a password there which says strong which is good re-enter password just re-enter <clears throat> security question choose a question that comes up with a usual sort of thing you know what is the name of your best friend what was the name of your first teacher what is the name of your manager your first job the first phone number vehicle registration well I don't like any of those so I'm gonna write my own question um, <clears throat> mother's Maiden name, uh, mother's maiden name. <clears throat> Oops! If I put that in the right column, sorry guys. 
you just put in their mother's maiden name and type the answer in. Recovery email. Um, if you've already got another email address, whether it might be your work one where you're currently working or you might have a, a Yahoo or a Hotmail account or something like that, you need to put it in here. Okay. Uh, reason being is because anything happens, if you can't access, if you lose your password or anything like that, um, it's just very easy. You can send, obviously, a request a new password um, and they will send it to your recovery email address. Okay. So I'm just going to put another email address in here. Um, there's one there. Location, United Kingdom. Well, as always, you've got a drop down box, so choose your location. Birthday, um, well, I think that's new. I can't remember him doing that. Um, that's possibly because of the Google Plus. Um, <clears throat> Going to put it in there. 5th of March, if you don't know. So there you go. 5th of March is my birthday. Any cards and presents are always welcome. Uh, now you get one of these verification codes. And I must admit, some of these aren't particularly easy to use. This isn't too bad, but let's just have a go at this. Think that's right, um, and then as always, uh, terms and conditions. Okay, so I accept create my account. I would suggest you read through the terms and conditions, but I've read them so many times. Um, you know, I'm just going to click through. So, so there you go. You know, fantastic. I don't know if you've got a um, uh, save password active on on your browser, but if so, you can click save browser and then show me my account then goes into your email account. These are the standard free emails that you get from, uh, from Gmail. Uh, import your contacts, your mobile phone, etc, etc. And then that's it. There's your email account. Okay, so I will make other uh, videos about some of the other um, tools that you can use through Google. Um, but uh, for now, this is purely about setting up your Gmail account Okay, and getting started. So I hope you found that of some help. Um, and uh, get yourself registered, get yourself a, a Gmail account, and um, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks ever so much. Take care. Bye-bye.